Hey there, welcome to Game Fruit. I'm going to show you how to make a platform game in just 5 minutes. Click on the Game Fruit Classic template to get started. This game has three levels, a start screen, a playable game level, and a game over screen. Before we start working on our game, let's play it to see what it looks like. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the player character through the game. This level is filled with a few different interactive objects, story points which display messages, a key which opens a door, moving tiles, a switch to activate one of those moving tiles, and an end point which finishes the game when the player character touches it. Click edit to start working on the game. Switch to the game level and use the move tool to move around inside the level. You can also drag around on the blue rectangle inside the minimap in the top right corner. Have a look around the level and think about how you'd like to improve it. We'll start with terrain. This is the solid ground that the player walks on. Select a terrain brush from the game object sidebar on the left and click and drag in your level to draw terrain shapes. You can use the eraser tool from the toolbar to delete things from your game by clicking and dragging on them. Now let's use a game object. Scroll through the game objects in the sidebar and find a story point. Select one and place it somewhere near the start of your level. You can move things around in your game by using the selection tool and clicking and dragging on them to move them around. You can only move things that are in the current layer selected. In the layers panel on the right hand side, click on the eye icons to turn layers on and off to identify which layer has the objects that you want to move. Then select that layer by clicking on it. Now you can move your object around. It looks like that story point could do with some improving. To edit the properties of an object, right click on it and select Edit Instance Properties. Here you can see the properties that you can change. I want to change the message that appears on my story point, so I'm going to type, Watch out, it's a steep drop. I also want to change my text color. I'm going to make the text yellow. Click on Set Color to change the text color. Then click Close to close the Instance Properties window. Now let's use some moving tiles. Place a few of them in your level and choose where you want them to move to by right clicking on them and editing their instance properties. Click select on the end location property to choose the end point for the moving tile. All right, how about something a little more deadly? Find an instant death object or a damage object and place a few of them somewhere in your level. Make sure the player can get over them Hmm. Now, because I've placed some other moving tiles in, I need to reset the properties on the switch here to target the moving tile above. Open the switch's instance properties and change the moving tile tag to something new. I'm going to call it Mover1. Use the same tag on the moving tiles instance properties as well. Now that switch and the moving tile have been reconnected. How about adding another level? Click on the plus button in the levels bar to create another level. Double click on it to rename it, and then drag it across so it's the level directly after the game level. When the player gets to that flag endpoint, they'll be sent to level 2. At the moment level 2 is totally empty, so we better start filling it up with some more game objects. First put down the player character, and then start drawing down some terrain. This new level doesn't yet have a tile map layer for terrain. So, click on the plus on the Layers panel and select Tile Map. Now you can place your terrain down. Go ahead and fill your level up with some interesting game objects. Currently this level's background is just empty whiteness. How about grabbing one of those background game objects? If you try to place it in the currently selected layer with all of your other game objects, it's going to cover everything up. So, make another layer by clicking on that plus icon on the Layers panel and select Layer. Rename this new layer and drag it down underneath the other layers. Now you can place one of those background images into this layer. Lastly, there are a bunch of interesting NPCs or non-player characters that you can select from the game objects sidebar. Choose one of them and place one in your level. If you wanted to be able to shoot, place a bullet object next to it as well. 
Nice work, you've just made your own platform game and it only took a few minutes. If you want to find out how to do more interesting things with GameFruit, open up the tutorial sidebar or go to gamefruit.com help. And most importantly, have fun. Thank you.